Honestly, would this even be my video if I didn't have an issue with lighting? Like, we wouldn't have the same vibe. We're just gonna say that lighting issues is necessary for whatever this is. Welcome! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this Ursula-inspired look. We're just gonna pretend that all the suction cups that I drew on with a purple liquid liner um, stayed on through me trying to mess with lighting. Um, we're just gonna say that they did, okay? Okay, cause like I'm not at all struggling right now. So for this installment of This Is Halloween, So I wanted to do an Ursula inspired look because I just always want to put purple on my face apparently. Also I figured it would go perfect with my mermaid look that I just posted recently. Do you ever feel like a sea hag? Like a sea hag? Like a sea hag? Perfect for those moments when you are a sea witch just waiting to steal someone's voice. And have like divine-esque eyebrows. So yeah, if you want to see how I did this Ursula slash sea witch inspired look, stay tuned. I'm starting off with a naked face and I've already applied a little bit of purple to my neck and body. Um, to start off foundation, I am just laying down kind of a layer of my highlight foundation so it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone. It's a little bit pink and now I'm taking this purple and I'm just going to build it up into the contours of my face and what I'm doing is I'm blending this all out to give me an all over kind of purple cast and then I'm going to keep the majority and the concentration of this purple in the contours just, you know, to pretend that I am in fact purple. So once the purple got to a place where it didn't really seem to want to get any more purple, I went back in with that highlight shade just to reinforce and kind of blow out these highlights a little bit, bring everything together, and then I just set it with some translucent powder. Wow, can you believe it? So now I'm gonna go in with some powders to really purple up this purple, and I'm first going in with a mixture of the red and blue primal colors, and I am hitting up all of these contours, and now I'm going in with this single shadow by um, NYX Cosmetics and Epic, and I really used um, a ton of this purple, and I put this everywhere. Just really going in on these contours. There's now a giant dent in this eyeshadow, but it was worth it to become, you know, purple. Now I'm just taking some more of that translucent powder and I'm putting this on all of my highlights. This is going to catch any fallout that happens in the eyes and since it's going on all of the highlights, it's going to help really blast out and make those highlights pop. So I'm going to lay down a base for this new exaggerated lid and this is the um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I pulled it up into this very exaggerated lid. It's really high. It comes to a little bit of a point. And then I covered that in Mochi by Sugar Pill. And then focusing in the center, I'm taking this kind of matching loose pearl pigment by NYX. I don't know what the name is because that sticker fell off, but yeah. So I kept that in the center of the lid to add dimension and shine. And I'm going back in with that same purple eyeshadow from NYX. And I'm using this to lay out a crease. And then to add dimension to this mint, I am using Midori by Sugar Pill, which is just a very bright kind of true vibrant green. And this is just to put some new depth in that outer corner of this giant lid and then to add dimension to this crease I'm using Elemental Chaos by Sugar Pill I just you know clearly wanted to use all of my Sugar Pill shadows Duh. and you know I'm just darkening the crease and I'm smoking out the lower lash line I also brought some of those mint shadows to kind of create um, the lower lid situation and did the stuff um, now I'm just laying down some eyeliner with this crappy eyeliner marker um, That way I know where it is and I just find that it's really easy to do it this way. It is a very exaggerated Wing it kind of is straight where it is on the lid if that makes any sense But it does definitely angle up and I also use that same eyeliner to do these very highly arched brows They kind of curve at the front and then go up 
I kind of wish I did more of just the straight kind of classic divine looking eyebrow because that would have been cool but these kept it in that kind of cartoony realm to make sure you know what's happening then to secure that eyeliner and make it opaque and all the stuff I just went over it with a matte black shadow um, to clean up that brow as you would with a concealer. I used that same NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk so then I could cover it with this green duochrome highlighter just to bring that flash of green because that's how it is in the cartoon. Um, I also highlighted the inner corner with that and yeah then I just highlighted my face with a purple highlighter and you know continued this purple life. To finish off this look, I grabbed a bright red liquid lipstick and I put this on my mouth. I definitely overdrew and I extended the outer corners into this cartoonish clown mouth sinister smile. Then I sprayed my face, threw on some mascara and lashes and called it a day. So yeah, here we are, the finished product. These are my tentacles today because if I made a tentacle dress or something, it wouldn't even fit in frame so you wouldn't even get to see it and I just popped off. As I lose a tentacle, I guess they will just stay lost because this is a time I'm trying to keep these on right now, okay? Also, yes, my eyes are uneven, but so are my natural eyes and doesn't an uneven eye kind of like lend itself towards being a villain? I feel like that's just very Ursula. Like she would totally have completely uneven eyeliner and eyebrows. So, um, we're gonna call that a character choice and we're gonna move on. Something about purple contouring always pulls me back. I think purple might be my favorite color and I was just like not realizing it because, um, I'm dumb. Oh, I was just caught in a net, and I'm an octopus, sea witch, and, um, oh no, I'm like trapped, and I'm gonna get dead? Don't ask me things. I hope you enjoyed this Ursula-inspired look. Um, perfect for any Halloween festivities, or just when you feel like being a sea witch. Um... You know, taking some poor unfortunate souls. Complete with a clown mouth. Perfect for all of those occasions when you just might want to snatch a mermaid's life via her hair. Um, because I, I guess she didn't give you her voice or whatever. tentacles this mess of a hair is like fun though it gives me like quirky librarian like yeah she has roots and yeah she was going gray so she just put some purple in it it's an updo um book me for uh prom appointments um i can do your hair similar to this um you know i'm just a professional What's the Little Mermaid? Who is she though? Also at some point I'm gonna need to redo Ursula when I have like the time and a reason to actually make like a tentacle dress or something. Um, instead of just, you know, a little costume that I threw together literally right before filming, um, you know, hot glue in a dream can make you this. This is couture. We come in peace. Subscribe for new videos every Monday. Also, so should be a grab in the description. Okay, bye. Guys, oh my god, it's October now, so that means it's like really, really Halloween, and like the countdown is really on. Like, whew. it's basically Halloween tomorrow.